you uh, first you want to set your floor drains. And Was that the floor drain there? No. Eh? Th well, this is a shower slash floor drain. Okay. Um, so it can be either one. It can be a, a shower or a floor drain. Here, let's yeah. double click it, and now we can change the designation for that fitting. Oh. We can change okay. it to a floor drain one, and let's go ahead and call that a floor drain. Right. See, so you can assign um, different fixtures to Ooh. different fixture codes. Okay. Uh, then we click OK. Now it's a little little floor drain. It happens to show right. a square there, but yeah, yeah, it can be uh, it can be any size you want. You can you can edit the the uh, fitting from the uh, list of, or edit the fixture from the list of fixtures, you can change the size. But let's use this size here for now, and let's say we want it right there. Yeah. Now, you want to, you might want to, for instance, you might want to pick up that toilet first. Yeah. And what, yeah. Or whatever. Okay. And then uh, this might not be legal, but you, you could do something like this. Um, yeah. You know. Yeah, it would be legal here as long as you're 18 inches away from the, uh, as long as I have an 18-inch uh, arm sort of thing off the Y. Cool. You you, so. you don't need a vent there or anything. Uh, I have to. I don't have to vent it as long as it's on the main. As long as it's a three-inch drain, I don't have to vent it. Oh, it's, cool. Uh, it's within uh, three feet. Oh man, I need to be plumbing in Canada. <laughs> <laughs> we have to vent everything. Yeah. And uh, uh, yeah, well, I have to vent the toilet sort of thing. But uh, the, the yeah. floor drain, I could leave it there because it, it, oh, as, as, as long as it's so far away from the uh, from the main. Right. But it has to be a three-inch drain, though. Two inch, you'd have to vent it. Right, gotcha. So, okay. Now there's a couple of things that we 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 might do uh, that I can see here. Um, now let's say let's say it was a uh, a slab, a concrete slab, and I didn't yeah. want to. I didn't want to come up in the in the slab at this angle. See here, let's go back. Okay, I want to look at that right there. I go to the yeah. side view, and let's say I wanted to come up at a different angle here. I don't know if this is going to work for me or not. I might oh, yeah, need to. All right, I need to get rid of that. Let's go to the side. That four inch pipe is in my way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of that four-inch pipe. I'm going to click the plus sign, uh -huh. and then I'm I just want to see that two-inch pipe right there. Okay. Now when I go to side view, the uh, four-inch pipe is gone, and and there's my two-inch pipe. Oh, I now I can okay. work with it without affecting the four-inch pipe. Oh. And let's say I want to come up in that footing at a 45 degree angle, I can do that. Okay. And then when I connect to my fixture, it automatically gives me a trap and a, and a vent. Oh. I can I can grab that vent, highlight it, and pull it up through the roof. Right, right. And, uh, you know, I might want to, I might want to put a clean out on that yeah, vent. You, you I'll, I'll turn it into a drain and I'll stick a, let's see. Oh, well, how'd you put a clean out there? On the, uh, uh, on the urinal, how would you, because uh, I don't see a picture for clean-outs, that's what I'm wondering. Oh, okay, yeah, it's, a clean-out is basically just a, uh, just a wire, a, a short sanitary T. Yeah, Let's a make tea, that yeah. a two-inch, I'm going to change that to a two-inch pipe. If I make this sanitary T less than six inches, it becomes a clean-out T. Oh, okay. See, C-O-T, yep. P-V-C. If I go longer than six inches, it becomes a sanitary T. Oh, okay. So that's how we designate between the two fittings. Right, right. And um, so that that's one way to edit your fittings. And and I may be telling you things that you already know, but uh, let's. Oh, I don't know. I'm not too good at it. <laughs> yeah, well, you look look like you were doing pretty good there. Well, I uh, I've been I've been playing with it, but uh, all of a sudden I get stuck. <laughs> yeah, I know it's it's a lot of stuff to learn. Uh, and I've got some videos on YouTube coming out that should help you. Um, okay. Let's say I wanted to come off of this uh, toilet drain. Right. With a sanitary T, I can go to front view, and and come right off of it, and then I can I can work with that in the plan view. 
And for instance, I might want to, I don't really have room for it here, but I might want yeah. to connect the lavatory. I just extend that and go from the lav drain, lavatory drain, to yeah. that two inch. And it gives me, uh, let's see here, front plan view. Okay, it gives me the uh, connection to the lavatory. And I can get a better view of that. I go into the side view, and there's that there's that connection. Uh, let's say, for instance, I I don't want uh, I don't want this pipe to extend out. I want to use a sweep here. Yeah. I can I can delete this part of the combo. I can go to the front view, click on it, and click the X up here, okay, or press okay. the delete key. Either one. Okay. Then I have a sweep down here instead of a combination. Yeah, yeah. Um, how how did you get that floor drain to go there again? You know, in the picture, how did you do that again? I, oh, okay. I get that floor drain somewhere else. How how do you? Oh, you I took, use okay. the shower. Shower. Okay, you brought it over. Just drag it over, and uh, okay. if it's not if it's not showing, it might show a shower. Just double click it. So I would double click on the on the green. Okay. Oh, on I the, see. Uh, on the square uh -huh. on the drain. And I can change that from a floor drain to a shower. I see. Because they both are very similar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so, I, you know, if it were a shower, I'd just change it to a floor drain. Right, right. Click OK. OK. Got it, got it. So you can play with that. OK, good. I wasn't sure how you, OK, that's excellent. You can do that with any of your <laughs> fixtures. Uh, the shower and floor drain are the only ones that share the same uh, icon okay. over here on the right. toolbar. Okay. Uh, everything else is is pretty much uh, has Hot its tubber. own button. Now you have so many tubs, you can pull oh. a tub out, and if it's not the kind you want, you can double click on it and change it to a different tub. I see. You it. can change it to a different fixture code. If you don't see your the tub you want in here, yeah. you can assign the tub that you want to that fixture code. How would you do okay. that? Okay. Just click drop down this list here. This has all your tubs. Okay. Oh, I and see. So okay. So you can you can select a tub from here, or you can create a new tub. How how would you create um, a new tub? Okay. Just by Let's curiosity. To, you have to go into the list. Right. Fixtures. Okay. And here's your list of fixtures. This is the same oh, yeah. icon okay. as you have on your toolbar. Right. Uh, select tub and, and put new. new. And, then you put and you place. give it a name. Uh -huh. We'll just call it New Tub for now. Yeah. And then uh, we want to tell it what 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 um, type of tub, whether it's My a center, center drain, drain, left right. drain, corner yeah. tub, whatever. Right. Okay. We'll do a corner tub. Uh, drainage fixture units, you can put that in there if you want to. Flood level would be the, uh, the curb of the tub. Okay. That's not real important. No, uh, no. The width is important. We're yeah, going to do a good. 60 by 60 corner tub, so I'll put 60 there uh -huh. and 60 there. Drain height, that drain usually is right on the floor or close to it, so I'll put that drain on the floor. And distance to back, uh, that's the um, distance from the drain to the back of the tub, and I'll say oh, okay. 40 inches, and distance to right, 40 inches. Okay. okay. And I can adjust that by moving these these uh, scroll bars. Right, right. I can okay. change the 